Hi, and welcome to Websites for Beginners with JP. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and hope you are doing well and keeping safe. What a crazy year, but we are still there. We are still hanging in there. In this overview video, I'm going to show you interesting stuff. I'm going to show you all about dynamic templates from Croco Block. Off the bat, let's have a look at what you're going to get. This is a pre-made site that you will be able to import into your Elementor WordPress site as a dynamic template. I'll explain that in a short while, but for now, I need to keep my ducks in a row and make sure that I cover everything in the right order. What we have is a site for a spa, but it's more than that. You can make appointments directly here from within the site. There's a lot that's going on here that's actually dynamic content. Now, what that means is that what you see here isn't static, it's not typed, it is drawn from other sources and it's generated here in this display. So also for the team members down here. We have then this spa or resort and what you have is that they're advertising their services as well as the team and the different members from that spa that can do these services. And then what you do is you book online that service with a specific person. And that's the crux of the issue. So for example, let's first look at booking an appointment for a service. If you go up here to this button, you click on it, it's going to give you these services that you can choose from. If I'm interested in a seaweed wrap and I click on that, you are going to choose here which of these masters, Shifu, are going to be the people that you want to be doing this service with. So is it Dory Stewart or Driana Red? I'm going to go with Dory and then I can choose the date. And from the date, I can choose the time. And then I say next, I'm going to add my name, my email and my phone number. And then when I click here on make an appointment, you who's owning the site is going to get this reservation in the back end. And this is quite a number of things that are happening behind the scenes. So one, you will have services, all these different services that the spa can provide. Let's go to services and you will see we have a number of them. Massage, spa, and I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six here. And then cosmetology. I have no idea what that is. I'll have to go look up what is cosmetology. These are the services and they are created and displayed through a custom post type, all done with Crocoblock Jet Engine. And then from that, you also have your team members. And these are again, a custom post type. So this is my team member. And then bringing them all together in your team archive page. Here they are. And if I click on any of them here, Dory Stewart, you see, I'm going to get the same layout. And that is all done with CrocoBlock. Let's then quickly talk about CrocoBlock to put this into perspective. If you've never heard of CrocoBlock, well, CrocoBlock has been around now for quite some time. When they came onto the scene, they really made an impact on the Elementor community. And I think it's actually guys like CrocoBlock that has helped catapult Elementor to the success it has today. Now, what CrocoBlock does it develops these add-ons and you will see there are so many and even more that you can use to extend your Elementor functionality. But there's another one here that makes it important. Elementor is a subscription for its pro plugin. So if you want to go pro with Elementor, you need to pay an annual subscription fee and that is renewable annually. But with CrocoBlock, you get a lifetime license offer. So if you take the lifetime license offer, you combine it with free Elementor, you only pay once and you don't have to go for Elementor Pro. So everything that Elementor Pro basically gives you, header builder, template builders, dynamic content, CrocoBlock's add-ons also give that to you. It's a decision you make and many people are very extremely happy with CrocoBlock. If you want to know more about CrocoBlock, please follow the affiliate link in the description below. That's greatly appreciated. Just to show you a little bit then on the pricing and we can come back to our dynamic templates, which is what we want to talk about. 
There is the all-inclusive lifetime license deal at 750. I think Black Friday is coming up soon, so keep your eyes open for that discount. It looks like a lot, but the functionality in here, if you have many websites, you use Elementor, then you're going to make a huge saving on this. And one thing, when I bought my lifetime license, which is two plus three years ago, this was not even 300. As more features are added on, this price increase. So the sooner you get into it, the more you're going to score. It's one of those things that, you know, if you didn't make that decision back then, you sit now at 750, but hopefully there's a sweet deal coming up with Black Friday. Let's just quickly go back here because we want to talk about this feature that Crocoblock added this year called Dynamic Templates. Let's first talk about design templates before we talk about dynamic templates. Now, design templates, and I'll control click here, command click to open it in a new tab, is the typical kind of template that you are used to, which we get with page builders. When you install your page builder, you get all these pre-made layouts that you can use. And these are usually static pages. And what does that mean? If I go to this page and I go to the live demo of UpMine, I'm going to have this page that I can import to my site. I can change the image, I can change the text, I can change the color, and that's it. There's nothing else that's going to happen big time on this page. I'm just going to make these changes. Pretty neat, very nice design, and a lot of work has gone into this to make it look modern and fresh. A dynamic template looks at all the dynamic content on your site. And for that, you will have custom post type builders, you will have appointments, you will have bookings, a lot of other things. And these dynamic templates are using many of these plugins from Crocoblock. At this moment, you may want to stop and take a deep breath and say, okay, JP, wait, I'm, I'm getting lost. What's going on here? And that's exactly why Crocoblock went and they made dynamic templates. Because a lot of newcomers, even people like me, get a little bit lost in how do I use these plugins to my benefit? And what they've done, if I click here on dynamic templates, if they have gone and basically made these dynamic templates, which are pre-made sites. Each of these is a complete, complete site that you can import and just change a few things. It's, and, and, and for that alone, you would have paid the price many years ago for just one of these. Currently, I think there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Nine sites completely ready to go. If you want to have a WooCommerce shop, if you want to have an appointment website like the one I just showed you, this is the one we'll be looking at today once. If you want to rent cars, and this is actually what you get. You get your cars there, people come and they rent it online. Wow. Grand hotel booking. So if you have a hotel, mini hotel, you know, bed and breakfast, a medical center if you want to make appointments and the rest. Go and check it out from the link in the description below. So you don't need to concern yourself too much about how this is set up with the JET plugins. Crocoblock does it all for you with the wizard installer. And this will help you to understand also how these plugins work. But still, I'm going to show you a little bit more behind the scenes in this video, just to point you in the right direction where you can go and make those changes once you install it. The question then is, who is once for? We are looking at a PA website template for Elementor. I want to say the first thing, when you use pre-made templates, you have to understand you're getting something out of the box, ready-made, and you should try and stick to that ready-made formula as much as possible because everything behind the scenes work seamlessly integrated. Second thing is this is for people who are starters, people who, who are new and, and they just want something ready. They don't want to think too much. They've got a manicure shop or they've got a beauty salon. They do nails. Anything where you have different team members or different staff members providing service and you have different services. This is going to be the ideal site for you. It's a quick installation and from there, you're only going to change the content. And you will be able that people, when they come to your site, they will be able to make this booking and reserve it. 
let's get into building one stand out in our WordPress site. For this, I will need to go into my account. And the reason for that is I need to download the wizard. As I've got the all inclusive membership deal, I've got everything here. And you scroll down to the bottom where it says extras and then installation. This is the one you always want to go for is the Croco Block Wizard. This will do all the installation for you. So click on download. And then here is my WordPress site ready to go. Now, usually for my WordPress site, there are a few things I always do, just force of habit. I go to my posts and I just delete that nasty hello world. And then over pages, then pages, I also just get rid of these two. And for settings, I will just go to my permalinks and make sure I put it on post name. Now, I didn't choose a theme, and you'll see very soon why I haven't done that. To get the wizard into our WordPress site, you need to bring it into plugins. So we can go to plugins, and we have the Akismed Anti Sperm and Hello Dolly. Let's just get these two out. Delete. Okay and then add new to bring in that plugin. And as we're uploading it, you click here on upload plugin. I'll go you to the bottom. It's still here in this toolbar at the bottom. So I click and drag it, drop it on choose file and click on install now. Activate the plugin. And that was pretty quick. So welcome to Croco Block Wizard. Install Croco Block, let's go. And I think the first thing is going to ask your license key. And you're going to get your license key here from the account. I'm going to do that. You look the other way while I do it. Once you've entered the license key, it's going to ask you select installation type, full Croco Block installation, jet plugins installation. For your dynamic template, you will have to go with the full Croco Block installation. Click on this and click on install. And I have to say, if you've got a good internet connection, a good host, then this is going to go pretty quick. Well, here's the interesting thing that the wizard actually gives you options from themes that you can choose. Now, Kava, you may be like, who's Kava? Never heard of Kava. Kava is actually the theme from Croco Block. And though these others are great themes to use, the interesting thing is that how this template looks as you've seen it online, works 100% with Kava. So if you're going to choose Kava, it's going to look 100% the same as it does on the Croco Block demo site. If you choose these guys, you will need to know that theme very well because you will need to go and make changes to the canvas width. You will need to go and put your transparency header, all those things. Remember that. So for example, if we talk about transparency, which is one of the things about the headers in this dynamic template, some of these themes are not going to give that to you in their free version. In that case, if you are new, you're only looking for the site, I recommend you go with Kava, and that's what I'm going to do. You click on it, continue with the parent theme or use child theme. If you are setting and forgetting your site, which means you know no coding, you're not going to go into the theme backend and make all kinds of weird changes. You do what I will do, and that is continue with parent theme. On the other hand, if you're scared of screwing up things and damaging the theme, which is a thing, if you mess around with the theme, then you go for a child theme. I've never had that problem because I just don't go and mess with the theme. So we click here, continue with parent theme. This is the Kava theme, and we're sticking to the parent theme. Of course, you can choose if you want to do the child theme. Right, here we go to those nine dynamic templates that we had seen earlier, and then the design templates just in the tab next to it. The difference and the word that you should learn if you're a beginner and you don't know these words is that the opposite of dynamic is static. So it's called design template here, but we usually refer to these pages as static, which means that what you see on that page is created on that page and that you'll ever see. But a dynamic template actually gets a lot of its information from somewhere else. I usually explain this like a pie chart. A pie chart, when you look at a pie chart, where does the pie chart get its data from? And it usually gets it from the data entered into the Excel sheet. That is dynamic. It draws its information from somewhere else. 
let's go to once and we install it click here on start installation and i have to give crocoblock kudos for making this wizard so easy there was a time this was a little bit complicated but they've really done great work at making the wizard super fast and super easy required plugins versus extra plugins now the first time i worked with it i thought i needed to install the extra plugins i activated them all nah i didn't need them at all and i would recommend you start here as well you can bring these in later what's important to understand that the more you add the more you actually add to the size of your site you don't want unnecessary things in your site Crocoblock tells you though that for this demo dynamic template to work 100% as you have seen it you need these to be installed if you want more you can choose these but you don't need it and we will only keep these selected we will not install this at this point I'll just point out WooCommerce over here you may want to have people pay in advance before they come to your spa then you will need WooCommerce but as this is an appointment concept and you only want people to be able to make appointments online you may not want to add this WooCommerce here on the other hand you also don't want people to make appointments online and then they don't show up right then you lose money so that is where after you've set up the site come in bring in your WooCommerce store and make that product and then select it to the different services that you have great so from here this is what we've got here let's quickly just mention again all of this you will need Elementor for the foundation of Crocoblock is Elementor and you don't need Elementor Pro you can just go with Elementor free continue and this is going to take us through the installation please be patient this may take few minutes there's a uh missing this may take a few minutes all plugins are installed um, I couldn't even finish that sentence now the plugins have been installed but you don't have the demo content here yet so all of these examples they are not there yet do you want that to come in and replace anything that you've installed previously like re a total reboot of your site or do you already have something on your site and you just want to attach this and add it well my site is clean we saw that from the beginning it's a clean site and usually I would highly recommend you do that but I'm kind of you know a little bit paranoid when it comes to making sure I do things properly so I'm going to say replace my existing content with demo content and this will remove anything from my site and replace it with the demo content but Kroger Block is concerned that you may have just pressed the wrong button and you're not sure what you are doing so it's going to ask you to enter the password for your site and that's what you'll do here enter your user password and then confirm it has to be your admin password and it's going to quickly install all the demo content for you and that's it brings us to 100 percent quick installation we've installed all the post authors media comments terms and custom db tables don't care if you don't know what this is next comes to a part that you don't have to understand what it's doing regenerating thumbnails this one is going to take some time so give it a while to run through all those regenerations and during this whole process you would have seen things change here in the sidebar on the left that we've got a few more things happening here and we'll take a look at that right so it says congratulations you're all set are we let's go see on the front end if we've got that all nicely set up and that we have our appointment site ready for us to make changes to great so here is the landing page our home page and then if people want to know more about services then we have a archive page where they can click on services which are the different services you will get from this spa so spa and we have a grape wrap <laughs> grape wrap didn't know grapes could wrap and if you click on that it's going to take you to the grape wrap page and explain a little bit more what is a grape wrap with some images and then under this you're going to choose your master the person who can do it let's choose Dory again and then from here you can choose the date that you want to go the time that you want to go and then next which is going to bring you to the booking your name your email and your phone and then there is the price 
And that brings us to the most important part is that under no circumstances do you want your site to look like this. You are going to make many changes and how do you make that? Go to the back end and let's see what has been done here. Now there's an update here. And when you go to update, it's going to ask you a few things that you have to update certain databases. Do that, good measure, start the update and also that one, get through that. And if you see any other updates like this one, I see this Jet Tricks, Jet Tricks. Let's just go ahead and also update this plugin to the latest. In the sidebar under comments, there are two new custom post types, services and team. Now, these two are actually created by the Jet Engine. And Jet Engine, you will find here at the bottom. If I go to Jet Engine and to post types, which are pages and posts, etc., we have created these new ones, services and team. Under services, we are logging all the products that we have to offer, and the team are those people that are going to provide the services. And again here, I want to stress what I mentioned a few minutes earlier, that the idea with a pre-made layout like this is that you don't need to go and set this up by yourself. You can learn how to do this, how to take Jet Engine, how to create this post type, how it appears here, and then within this post type, how to set all the fields that you will be needing, like a description, description, etc. While we are here, let's just pay attention to what we've got here, and this is our services. Within the services, there are four things you are asking people to enter. You're asking them to give a description of the service. There's another block and that you can add two images. That means when you go to any of these services and click on it, we're going to see a number of services here. We just looked at Grape Wrap. Click on Grape Wrap and going in, you are going to see the following. You're going to see here a description one, a description two, and then a place for the images. What you need to do now is when you are setting up your shop is to come to services and from here, you simply go to add new service and then you give your new service a name, JP's special bonanza, no, back rub bonanza. And then over here, you can give it a price per slot. This is a pretty good one, 120 US dollars. And then some description here. So let's get some lorem ipsum text for that because I, I'm not very creative this early in the morning, cannot think of what to say at this moment. So I'll just grab a little bit of lorem ipsum, copy that, paste that, and I'm going to do the same over here. And then you can bring in media for this. I think there should be some media in here from the demo content. So let's grab this one, which is not a back rub, that's a face rub. Okay. And then if I say publish, I have now created that. And that's how you will be creating your own content. What else do we have here? And that's important when you look at these pre-made layouts, every part of it has a feature. So I have this new service, JP's special back rub bonanza, who is going to be able, who are these masters, the team people who can perform this back rub bonanza? And for that, you go here to select team. This is also done with the jet engine and please enter. So I'll just add a D there, uh, D, D O R, Dory. Okay, so Dory, Dory, and it's only Dory who can do this. And that's basically it. So I'm going to say update and then proceed to categories. I'm going to look for a tag on massage. Yep, and add that. And now I've set it up here. Good, that's all I need to do here, update. So this is how you're going to be updating all your services. But then the second one you want to go and update are your team members because you've got different team members. You don't have these ones. So if we look at Dory Stewart and we look at her profile, we're going to see you're going to have a specialty. What is Dory's specialty? How many years experience does she have? Length of work? her email, you want to contact her, phone number. Then you have here areas to upload certificates because people want that proof, right? And then here, social icons that you can add as well. 
And this is all done with the jet engine, a description here at the bottom, and then an image for Dory on that side, as well as the services she can perform. So you see here, there's JB's special bag rub bonanza. Hmm, I just linked her to it and it updates so nicely. Same thing here. What you will do, you go to your team, and you're going to create a new team, add new team member, and you fill in all this information to make sure that your new team is locked in. Brilliant. If we go and have a look again on the front end, what's going on here? You will see now under massage, JP's special bag rub bonanza appears. And this is dynamic content. I didn't type this here at all. I just created this new service. And by creating that, the dynamic content is drawn from it and it is displayed on specific places on my site. If I click here on JP Special Background Bonanza, it's going to take me to that service. So you can see here, here I have the images and here I have the description and I'll just have to maybe add a little bit of space there. And then under here, the book service. If I click here, select, you're going to see it's only Dory because that's who we have said is the only person who can perform this service. What you will have to do here is make sure that the images you use for this layout, go and check the image sizes that they are using for theirs and stick to the same aspect ratio and resolution. Talking about this kind of layout. So if I look at another service, let's see what other services do we have here. And that is let's say under okay so this is massage a wellness massage let's see what we've got for wellness massage here's our wellness massage how is this layout generated we entered this data in that custom post type in the back but how does it get to look like this go to the back end and i'll keep this one open so what i'll do is control click to open a new one Let's close out all of these others so we don't get lost in all the tabs. And I'll grab this one to the left, my back end on the left. And there's an update in the meantime. When I go to my services, services, and this one is wellness massage, and I click here on wellness massage, this is how it looks in the back. If I click here on preview changes, it generates the same layout that we've seen here on the front end. The question is again, where does this layout come from? The word here is template. It's a template that is made in Elementor that lays it out like this. It takes the information you've given it here, the two parts of description, one here and one there, the two images there and there, the price, the team, etc and it displays it in this fashion. This is done within Croco Block. If you own Elementor Pro, you can use Elementor Pro to do that. But as I explained at the very beginning, if you want to save some bucks, then you do it the Croco Block way. That is then created within a template. And you'll find that here in the sidebar when you go to Croco Block, you will see Theme Builder. And this is under the theme builder where you find all these templates or which they refer to as theme parts. This is a service and it's for a single service, only a wellness massage. So what you'll find here is services single. And from here, you can just click on edit with Elementor. It's going to open Elementor for us and it's going to show us this template that has been created. Of course, the idea is not for you to actually go and change it. The idea kind of here is for you to stick to the template. But let's say for some reason you do want to make changes. You want to add something else here. You want to add an image or you want to change something. Then what you're going to do is do that in the template. Maybe I want to add a video. I'm going to drag that and drop the video there. And we've got that standard video that comes in. I'll click on update. And now this is wellness massage, but you see in the back end, it's showing the latest, which is JP's special back rub bonanza. If I go to the front and I refresh this one now, all my services are going to have this now there. This one is static. This information is dynamic. But I really don't want to keep this one. Right click and delete it. 
and just update it so we go back to that template again. And this is important to understand because the templates are the basis of where your dynamic content comes from. Let's go again to the back end. We go again to Croco Block, Theme Builder, and see what other templates are here. If we look again at services, we've seen that one for the wellness massage we had just looked at. But then we also have archive services. Let's click here on Edit with Elementor. I'm going to Control click on it so it opens a new tab. And this time we are working with our index of all the services we've got. The idea for you is not to mess around with this dynamic content template. But if you want to change the background here, you want to change the text, then you can do it so in the template to bring in the style and the information from your site. You definitely want to change out the content here. So what do you do? Here is a good solution. When you come to the site, first go to all the services you have. Don't look at the front end. Just go through these services and set up your services. After you have set up your services, go to your team. Look at all your staff and bring them in here. Set that up. Don't look at the front end. The next thing you do is you go to Croco Block and you go to your theme builder. From your theme builder, you go through everything you've got here, all these templates. If I go to my team single and I click on edit with Elementor, the changes you have to make here are the static changes, not the dynamic changes. Static is the background, for example, here. You have to change the background, the width and any other elements that you bring on here. For example, book this service now. Maybe you want to write something else here, like make your reservation today. Leave your personal data, maybe something else here. But the moment you get to this area here, for example, and I click on this one, you will see it's a dynamic field. The dynamic fields, you want to leave them alone. Go ahead, go through these templates under Croco Block and change out all the static content. Exit to dashboard, back in our dashboard. And then the fourth one you want to make changes to are your static pages that you will find here, like usual under pages, all pages. And if we go to something like our home page, which is the one that we saw at the very beginning, our landing page, there are a number of things that you want to change out here. Just be aware some of the content on this page is dynamic content that you don't want to mess around with. Again, you only want to work with those that are static. Example of static is this hero image at the top. If I click here and I want to make changes to it, I'll go to my style and then from here, I'll change the image out. In this case, let's choose just a different image. Is it big enough? It looks like it. And we bring in that one. Then we can change the text. bring you back to life. And this is all your static information that will always display on your site. Where you see these yellow boxes, these are made within the templates and we just looked at the templates. So if you want to make changes, go into those. Here again, we have a static area. You can change the background color. Let me edit it. And over here, you see, you can change the color. So just to show you the differences that we can make and you can change your text again and your images as well. Scroll down this professional team, this you can all change. And then when you get here and you click up, this is the listing grid and this is dynamic content. You can make changes over here, not a template, dynamic content. Here again, static. And this is how you go through your site already set up. You choose what you want to keep, choose what you want to throw out and you make changes to those that you keep. And that's it. So let's wrap it up. What have we done here? We have installed the dynamic template from Croco Block for Elementor. We put that in our plugins and we ran through the wizard. And after that, we got this nifty looking page. And then I told you a number of things you will have to go and change. You do that in the back end. The first thing you're going to change the services. Within services, you're going to create your new services and add that information. After that, you're going to look at team. Also remember to delete the ones, the demo ones over here that you're not going to be using. Once you have done that, 
two areas that you will have to go and make changes to the content. The first one, Croco Block, Theme Builder, and you go through these templates, these parts one by one, and you click with Edit with Elementor, and you only make changes to those static parts. Once you've done that, you go to your pages, all pages, and you go through your pages one by one, and you make changes to that. And that should bring your page to your style and your content once you've done all of that. Well, I don't run a spa. I don't have that expertise. But if you do run a spa or you have any kind of service that you provide like this with different service providers and different team members, then you should really consider having a look at this template, this dynamic template from CrocoBlock called Once and take it for a spin. Go to CrocoBlock to products and you look at dynamic templates. You can get it here, free for all inclusive set owners or upgrade your current plan. And the link in the description will show you where you can get all of that, which is included, which isn't included. But if you're planning on making something big and you wanna set and forget and you do it for a number of sites, then the all-inclusive lifetime plan is a no brainer. If you're running unlimited websites with many clients and you're setting up these sites for them. This is a great way to jumpstart and understanding dynamic content and how the plugins from Jet and CrocoBlock work. This will be my takeaway from it is that maybe the dynamic template as is won't be perfect for you. But once you've installed it and you want to learn more about Jet Engine, you want to understand how services and team, how this is created, how do you set it up? Here is a very good example. Take some time, spend time, install it and go through it. Go to the Jet Engine, go to post types and understand. OK, so we created a new post type. It's called team. And then under team, what did these guys at CrocoBlock do? OK, they added a post type name. And then they added these meta fields. What is this? Is it text? How was it done? Understand how these things are done. This will help you get familiar with the plugins from CrocoBlock and make it better at it. And like I said, that's kind of my takeaway from it. I may not use the dynamic template, but I love going into the back and try and take things apart and see how other people did it. And that's how I usually learn by looking at that, copying it, adapting it, and then adding it to my style of doing things. Go check out the dynamic templates from CrocoBlock. Also check out all the other stuff that they've got. Remember, they work all on Elementor, free and pro. If you're a big fan of something like Elements and extra widgets, you're going to be very impressed with their Jet Elements. And if you're only interested in the Jet Elements, you can buy this separately. But if you are looking at a little bit more comprehensive solutions, they've got various kind of packages that you can choose from. That brings us to the end of this overview video. Are you interested in learning more about the CrocoBlock plugins and would like to see a few tutorials on how to actually set that up? Let us know in the comments below and I will check that out. From me, JP, then have a great day. Stay safe. See you in the next video.